In this video, I'm going to break down kind of a simple tip, but I think something that's actually really, really effective and really important to understand if you like to run match defense in Madden 22. Now, if you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button down below. It's completely free to do that, and it just helps support the channel. It also helps you to be able to know whenever we release new videos here, and we release new videos pretty much every single day, a couple different times a day here on the channel. So if you don't turn on your notifications, you won't. You might miss some of these uploads. So make sure to do that. And in this video, we are talking about the uh, an audible trick or a little mechanic that you can use um, that will basically turn in turn cover six into cover four quarters, which in my opinion is one of the best match defenses that you can have in the game. Now in formations like nickel triple and nickel two, four, five odd, you're not able to, um, and even I think three, three, five odd for that matter, um, you're not able to run match coverage like you can from, for example, a formation like nickel three, three, five will. Um, my nickel 335 will defense, you can run the cover four quarters, you can run um, the cover six, you can also run the cover four palms, and you can run things like cover six invert, right? You can get all of these amazing match defenses. Well, in nickel triple, um, they don't have that. As you see here, if I scroll through these, these plays, they don't have that. They only have the cover six. And so in this video, we're going to share with you a little trick that you can use where it will basically allow you to create essentially a cover four quarters defense. Now, again, if you're new to the channel, I do want to quickly point out that the best way to get all of my ebooks and, and, and if you want to get all of my schemes, I actually just released a match scheme that actually goes in depth on the rules of cover six and cover four palms and cover four quarters and all of the match defenses that you can run in this game. And so if you want to get all of my ebooks for the, the entire season for just 10 bucks a month, I would encourage you to sign up for my true fan membership. Now you, while your subscription is active, you'll literally get access to every ebook, every offensive and defensive ebook, every tip that I do, exclusive tips like Dime 146 mini schemes or Dime Rush mini schemes or um, something I'm working on right now, which is a Patriot heavy scheme. So just different things like that that I'll do from time to time. I'm also bringing back my pro player film studies where we actually literally analyze exactly what the best players in the community are doing. And I'm also working on some exclusive live streams for those who are part of my true fan membership. So if you want to support the channel and you want to get better at Madden, I'd encourage you to sign up for it. 10 bucks a month. We've already got nine ebooks out and we've got a ton more on the way. So uh, that's just, in my opinion, the best, best way that you can support me. But it's also the best way that you can get better at this game. That being said, let's dive in. Nickel triple cover six. And what we're going to do is really simple. We're simply going to put our safety on the right side into an inside quarter zone. So we see there a hot right into an inside quarter. And the corner on the right side, I'm gonna put him into an outside quarter. So basically now we have four quarter zones, right? And then lastly, I'm gonna take this linebacker, uh, Revis or Reeves, and I'm gonna put him into a curl flat zone. So as you see here, this is what the play looks like. Now, if I were to audible over here to the cover four quarters, you're gonna see that it basically looks identical. The only difference is on the right side, instead of having a quarter flat zone, you're gonna have a curl flat zone. So let me reset the play and come back to the quarters or to the cover six coverage. Now I wanna show you why I say that this is how you can create cover four quarters. And the way we're gonna show this is we're gonna put a triangle on a five yard out route and we're gonna put Evans on a fade. And what you're gonna notice here is that if it was palms, that outside corner on the left side would bite down on the out route. And I'll illustrate that in just a second. But because it's quarters, you're gonna see here that they're not gonna bite on the out route. He's gonna stay on the vertical route. And as you can see, the defense is going to play very similar to quarters. Now the beauty of this is that this defense actually plays in, in two by two sets like gun spread. It plays very similar to quarters, but in three by one sets like bunch and trips tied in, it's actually gonna play similar to palms. So I'm gonna audible over here to cover four palms really quickly here. And I just wanna show you the same route combo. What you'll see is that corner on the left will bite down 
and the safety will now take that player. And that's the, the major difference or the st major distinction between cover four quarters and cover four palms. Now I'm going to audible over there, uh, or I'm going to audible back over there one more time, and I'm going to audible into quarters. And what you're going to see is that same route combination. You see it looks much more like the first example of the video. So now let me just shift gears for just a quick second here. And we're actually going to go over to the uh, trips tight end formation, which is one of the best formations years in and years out in Madden. And we're going to show you how this differs whenever you get what's what I call three by one or trips uh, type set. So I'm just going to go to trips tight end offset. And we're just going to grab uh, the play X under if I can find it. There it is. And we're going to come out in the cover six. And um, what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to run essentially um, a smoke screen on the outside receiver. I'm going to run a uh, corner route from the circle receiver. And I'm going to run a vertical route from the triangle receiver. So you see here's the route combo that we've created. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and what I would recommend doing is if you ever in nickel triple you get this a little bit of kind of a unique alignment. I actually really do like the alignment. Um, what I like to do is take that safety on that side and I'm just going to put him in an inside quarter zone. And then I'm also going to take um, you can just base a line if you want to fix it. It's fine. Um, you can just do that. The other thing you could do is you could take this guy out here put him in an outside quarter zone. And you'll see here, if I unbase a line, you see how his zone is gonna change if he goes back to the other side. So that's just important. Um, to me, that's just important to understand. So uh, anyway, I don't know what he's doing right now on the spy, but let's if you move him back over here, he should go into an outside quarter. Let me see here. Nope. Okay, so let me just uh, throw the ball away and then we'll, we'll come back to that. So, the idea here, and nickel triple, like I said, it's a little bit different in terms of the way the game aligns it. So that's why I like to base align it uh, against this so that I get the proper alignment against trips. Um, and then what you can simply do is I like to just simply go ahead and, you know, show blitz or whatever. You can see it could look like this. Um, anyway, Jackson's being kind of a little bit weird uh, <laughs> for whatever reason. And I think it's just a it's just a trips tight end thing. It doesn't it's a trips tight end thing and a bunch thing. You can actually take advantage of it, but I want to show you the basic principle, and then we're going to talk about some adjustments that you can do from this. So again, nickel triple. I'm just going to baseline just for the purpose of the video, so I can show this real quick. So I'm going to go inside quarter, outside quarter, just like last time. So you see here, this is what it looks like. Jackson's play art is glitched for whatever reason, but anyway, you're going to see if you just I just want you to watch the left side. So if I put the smoke screen there and then I put the uh, triangle on the streak and then circle on the corner, watch who guards uh, square. You're going to see in cover six that that, that uh, cornerback on the left guards square. Okay, so just to illustrate, I'm going to go to cover four quarters. Now we said against two by two sets, this is very uh, familiar to cover four quarters. But in three by one or trips, it's actually going to shift. It's not as similar to cover four quarters. So I'm going to run the same route combination. And I want you to watch who guards number uh, 13, Mike Evans, who guards the square receiver. What you're going to see is that backside guy is actually going to bail and he's going to go back. Um, he's going to go back to the corner route. Okay. So that's cover four quarters. And then now uh, let me illustrate it one other way. Uh, if you'll watch with me also, who guards the triangle receiver when he goes on a vertical route, this is also going to help inform this. So you're going to see, watch who guards triangle. You're going to see he's going to get jammed, and then he's going to get released to the vertical. And as you see that outside quarter coming back, kind of glitches out or dumbs out, and that's where, that's where it can cause some problems. So now I just want to shift for just a moment and go to the cover four palms, and I want you to watch how this is going to defend. So if I run that same route combination you're gonna see that cover four palms is gonna do a little bit differently. So put that corner route there. I don't know why it's an out route, but anyways, good old play art. And you see now the quarter flat climbs with him and circle goes there. So palms is how it's gonna play in three by one or trips. Whereas in uh, two by two, it's gonna play very similar to quarters. So now how can we take advantage of the fact that we have our, uh, essentially our defense man aligned out of this look from a cover six perspective? Well, it's actually a very advantageous thing to do, and here's how we're going to take advantage of it. 
All we're simply going to do is we're going to take this linebacker on the right and we're going to man him up on the safety. So as you can, or on the um, tight end. And if you don't want to use, if you don't want to man McCain up on him, then simply man up this uh, this guy, this safety that you showed blitz with. So as you see here, this is what the defense looks like. And now we can send pretty easy pressure against this, just like this right here. And then the last thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take my user and I'm just going to put him in really whatever zone I want. And I can stand here or I can stand here. So now I'm free to kind of do whatever I want. I've got a nice little cloud flat there. I could, if I wanted to, hot route that. Um, as you can see here, I could put him into a curl flat again so that I get some matching principles just in the, in the case of like a wheel route or something like that. So you see this is kind of what the defense looks like. Essentially, my responsibility is that of the inside quarter. And so if there is a play like PA cross, if I see a crossing route, then I need to go to the crossing route. But as you can see, everything's matched accordingly and the defense plays very similar to the way that cover four palms works. So the takeaway or the beauty of all of this is that cover four or cover six, basically, at least this is my opinion, it gives you the best defense, best match defense for the formation. So if you're running match against doubles you're getting quarters and quarters is really good against doubles as we saw earlier quarters kind of breaks down a little bit against trips and so the game smartly says okay well you know what we're playing trips and we're going to build in a check that's called the special check which i won't go into in this video we break it down in depth in the ebook but the bottom line is even though you've basically crafted the same hot routes essentially as you would if you were playing quarters now it's going to be playing palms rules which is the better coverage for three by one sets so that being said cover six you can get away with just running cover six and be very effective in match because you still have the cover six right and then if we wanted to let me give you a quick example um let me go to uh let me go to good bunch for this so if i wanted to run cover six against gun bunch you'll see here obviously i flipped the play but what i can do is I could take just Saint, uh, this outside quarter and put him in a deep half, and then I could put this guy, you know, I could basically create cover six ember is all I'm trying to say. So you see here, this is cover six ember. It's exact adjustments. That deep half, because it's in the in the coding of the game, is going to play like the deep half out of cover six ember. And as you see, you've got a very effective concept, a very effective defense. So from one coverage, cover six, you can recreate palms, quarters, and cover six invert which in my opinion are the four best match defenses in the game and you still have the standard cover six so i absolutely love this little trick and it's why i can still run nickel triple and nickel two four five odd and still play a high degree of match coverage and at the same time have a pretty good integrity in terms of run defense and some of the best pressures in the game and so that being said guys that's how you do it that's how it works and it really does give you the best bang for your buck because against two by two it's going to play quarters three by one it's going to play uh, palms and that's a really really good if you actually think about palms works really well against three by one so all that to say guys that is how the coverage works i want to thank you for watching this video and i would encourage you to try this out i've got a 245 odd ebook out i've got a nickel triple ebook out and if you want to get access to all of my ebooks um, again, I would encourage you to sign up for my true fan membership. It gets you access to every ebook that I release all season long, as long as your subscription is active. So far, we've released nine, and I've got more on the way. We've got a, uh, and again, I would really encourage you to check out that match defensive game plan. Uh, I think it's probably my best work of the season. It's been two to three years in the making, and I just absolutely love this defense. So that being said, guys, check that out. I'm going to put a link to that in the description below. And you'll be able to you'll be able to get access to that. So again, thanks for watching. And again, if you want to get access to the entire, uh, if you want to get access to all of my content, please join that True Fan membership. It's the best way to support me as a creator. I also think it's the best bang for your buck. Nine ebooks already in October, and we've got a ton more planned for the rest of the season. So thanks for your time. If you want to get the ebooks and you want to get the True Fan membership, ten bucks a month. Again, cancel it whenever you want. Thanks a lot, and we'll see you guys next time. There's a link down in the comments and in the description uh, if you guys want to sign up.